Hey folks, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to give you guys just kind of a perspective, right? Because you, you're always seeing the garden, you're seeing what we're growing and whatnot. But I wanted to explore something here with you where our community garden, as you know, it's in the inner city uh, over here in Northeast Washington, D.C. And <clears throat> I'm sure you can hear it in the background but part of this city park here. Is actually this wonderful water park. So it's not just typical playgrounds and whatnot. They have a full-size swimming pool. They have a water park in the back. And if we walk down, I'm actually on the sidewalk walking down. We actually have a full baseball diamond over here. And then back. So you can see a little bit more of the pool area. And if you go up the hill there, there's actually a dog park. There's basketball courts. Um, for an inner city environment, this park is actually amazing. Um, so in proximity to the water park area, we actually have our little bitty garden way down there. So to give you guys kind of a scope of how big this property is, we're actually our garden down here is on 24th 24th Street so the number 24 <clears throat> and then it expands all the way up to 18th Street so it's actually two blocks wide by six blocks deep in the middle of the city it's quite amazing so I wanted to show you one other thing that I actually walked over to couple weeks back so now we're kind of down on the field kind of where where I started was up there on the top of the hill at the very top so now across this huge outdoor field here we have an inner city I guess you could call it a nature preserve <coughs> but it's a walking trail that expands all the way up a couple city blocks and what they're doing here is kind of a revitalization of native species as far as trees, plants, whatnot. So yeah, okay, it's called the Langdon Park Forest Patch Trail is what it is. And if you see here, it's just a patch. I'll walk up in here if, just to give you an idea. But as you hear the kids screaming and playing in the background, you can actually take a walk through this entire trail. And keep in mind, we're in the middle of the city, right? I can hear the buses and cars adjacent to the park, but we're in a beautiful area that has luxuries like a nature trail. And I can tell you, I walked in here now, it's, I don't know, easily 10 degrees cooler than it was just walking out on that field. And the path actually separates in different areas. So where I'll break off is at this first trail. You could actually go up and around and then all the way across the top of the park and down again by the dog park. But I'm going to go down this way. And then it lets us out right into the field again. And now we're on 
same side of the pool. And you can see up there, the pool area, and then the water park is back there. I don't want to go up with a camera and be too invasive with people and their children and whatnot. But just kind of give you guys an idea, a perspective of, you know, the vast landscape that we have at this wonderful city park. And then if you turn to the right here, all the way back down there is our little garden. So it seems as if, right, seems as if our little garden is just a small little postage stamp of this park. It actually is. Um, I was trying to estimate it recently. We're looking to possibly put down some new gravel in all the pathways around the garden. And I was trying to guesstimate the square footage. And by best recollection, the total square footage of the garden is about 3,000 square feet. So <clears throat> that's not just the pathways. That's the, the total garden space. So it gives you an idea that... Um, you know, we are a small little postage stamp to this humongous outdoor park in the middle of the city. Now, it's a beautiful day out. There's few clouds in the sky, but the majority of people at the pool today, it's coming off a holiday weekend. People are just out and about relaxing. And I actually had one of our subscribers to our channel was asking about the infrastructure of how our garden was created. And I did a little research myself. So if you look at the proximity of, here's our garden. <coughs> if you notice, it's elevated. It actually sits up about three feet off the ground. It's kind of hard to see the perspective from here. But if you look down here, there's a big old drainage hole. So where the garden actually sits, you can see if you look at just the streetscape of where I'm standing, my head is about here. We're about 10 feet below grade, and we go straight up a hill that way. And if you pan around here to the bottom of the hill, which is the garden, it goes straight up another hill up into the tree line there. So this garden is actually sitting at a basin. So the reason why they did this it makes perfect sense. They put down gravel. And they built it up and built it up and built it up so that we're not dealing with this this grade of, of property that just drains right off so now we've created an extremely great um pervious water you know flowing area for us to garden in. we don't have to worry about being inundated by a flood or anything coming down off of the hill where we're raised up off the ground so i mean you can see the grade right there it's wonderful. So I'm going to get in here. I'm going to pick a couple things. Just want to kind of give you guys a quick perspective on our location, on this wonderful piece of property of where our garden sits. Everything is actually looking good. We got some weeds that we need to take care of. But all in all, the garden is extremely healthy, aside from our friends, the squirrels. But just wanted to give you guys some perspective of where we are and how this garden is located and why and then the other amenities that we see in the park with the pools and the dog parks and everything else and keeping in mind we're in the middle of the city so i'm gonna wrap it up here i'm gonna get to watering and do a couple vegetable pickings for the day once again guys i appreciate you following along it's hot as can be out here i'm sweating but you know it is what it is just wanted to bring you guys some more content do me a favor, content provides you any sort of value or you want to see more things like this, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel that helps the algorithm. I'll uh, definitely chime in, answer any comments, questions, or concerns that you guys have. And I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now so I can see you guys on the next one.